Hello, today I wanted to talk to you about being an independent woman because I shared a post on Instagram a couple of weeks ago and quite a few people reached out to me and mentioned it and the post was around basically owning that I am not an independent woman and that I feel like that brings me more joy, more happiness, more fulfillment. And so I've titled this episode live, is being an independent woman actually costing you more success? So let's talk about this because I truly see how conditioned we are as women to really pedestal this archetype of the independent woman of the girl boss, of the I don't need a man woman. And when I say I don't need a man, that's that general archetype and like trope that you see in media. Because I'm not even just talking about being in a relationship when I talk about being independent. I'm not just talking about being single. I'm talking about that archetype of the woman who does it all and does it all for everyone and is constantly on the go and is constantly multitasking and is the go-to person for everyone, is the go-to person in her workplace, is the go-to person in her friendship group, is the go-to person in her personal life for her loved ones, is the person who gets shit done, is the person who is reliable because she is constantly doing everything for everyone and constantly on that hamster wheel and I I see how this role, this archetype is so glamorised in media we watched growing up, in films, in TV shows, in, in just culture at large, right? And especially if you're like me, an ambitious woman who has goals in your career, in your professional world, in your business, you want to achieve more, you want a successful career, you want that promotion or pay rise, you want to grow your business and have more amazing clients or go for that investment funding or whatever your career next level is, right? If you want that, it's easy when you look around to feel like you have to be this independent woman who is doing it all and receiving very little in return. But does it actually have to be that way? And I feel like my post a few weeks ago really opened up that conversation, that question for myself and so many other women. I had clients messaging me about it. I had a friend asking me about it, like asking me, how did you get there kind of thing. So I want to ask you a few questions if you feel like you have that drive to be independent and to help you see if it is costing you your next level. If being independent is actually the thing that's costing you the next level of your success in your goals. Does doing everything for everyone make you feel more successful? Question number one. Because I know for me, it does not. Doing everything makes me feel exhausted, not successful. Does neglecting your health make you feel successful? Does not having time for the things that you love to do make you feel successful? Does feeling irritable or even, let's face it, resentful make you feel more successful? At the end of the day, if you come home and you've been doing everything for everyone and you've bent over backwards and you've taken on every request that was asked of you in work and in your personal life, 
and you have that feeling of feeling irritable, feeling reactive, feeling resentful because you're giving, giving, giving and not allowing yourself to receive, does that feel like success for you? Because I know it doesn't. (laughs) I know it doesn't. And it's this realization that this independent woman role that you may have taken on or you may have been conditioned into believing is the way to more success is actually making you feel the opposite of success because what I see in my clients and in the women I speak to every single week and I'll ask you this question when you're listening really think about this for yourself what does being successful mean to you? What does a successful life mean to you? What does it look like? What does it feel like? Because I know that it includes thriving. It includes reaching your career goals, of course, and it also includes your health being in the best shape it can be. Having time for the things that light you up. It includes your relationships being healthy and and thriving. I am yet to meet a woman who defines a successful life as being alone. And when I say alone, I really reiterate this is not just about relationships. This is not about an independent woman is a single woman. No, not at all. Because you can be single and receive support. You can be single and have thriving friendships and connections. You can be single and receive tons of support in your workplace. Or have really deep and meaningful connections with your loved ones. This is not just about relationships. This is about how you are relating to the people around you and like I say I'm I'm yet to meet a woman who wants genuinely when she is in her like heart of hearts when she's dropped into her intuition and her desire I'm yet to meet a woman who defines success as being burnt out and doing it all on her own yet to meet her. If you meet her, please introduce me (laughs) because I would genuinely be curious to chat. So doing it all and being independent and relying on no one but yourself is not your version of success because doing that sacrifices your health. It sacrifices your time to go to the gym or to go and meet your friend for a lunch because you've not taken on a million and other one, a million and one other life admin things that you're helping a million people with. It involves having an actual lunch break in the middle of your day because you've not taken on yet another project without asking for help that's led you to not having time to leave your desk or not leaving work on time any you know every night of the week because you always stay late because you've not advocated for your boundaries and said I want to leave so that I can really rest and recover and rejuvenate myself ready for the next day success is thriving in all areas of life and so This is where we get to question this archetype of being independent and asking yourself, is it really, is it really allowing you to reach that success that you truly desire or is it actually costing you success? The very thing that we've been taught we're going to get from being independent, from doing it all, that archetype, that identity, that role that we've taken on is often the thing that is actually costing you the next level because it's blocking you from receiving that support. 
it's blocking you from taking back you know ownership of your time for yourself and to say this is a priority for me in this season so I am giving myself full unapologetic permission to say no to this or to say to your boss or to a loved one asking something of you thank you so much for coming to me with this I'm at capacity right now I would love to support you but in order to be able to I'm going to need xyz from you in return and actually being honest and owning that this gets to be a two-way street and you get to receive support and not just be the go-to person for everyone all of the time love to hear your thoughts do you feel like you are taking on that role of independent woman doing it all for everyone else often it's like being the go-to person so oh go to cat if you want someone who's reliable and who will do it all and who will get it done on time and often we can build ourselves like a little prison (laughs) taking on this role because it becomes part of your identity and part of how people perceive you and so much of the work I do and share with clients is actually helping you rewire your identity and essentially reshape your life so that it's setting you up in a way to support the version of you you know you're here to be support the version of you who does make time for herself and does receive and allow herself to receive receiving support asking for help setting boundaries making time for yourself and doing that without worrying about someone else's discomfort something that um i've been talking to one of my clients about a lot at the moment is being okay with someone else's discomfort being okay that in owning you need more time for yourself or you need help or support in this area owning that someone else can step in to support you in that way and you get to receive that that give and take reciprocal energy from the relationships around you and for women who've spent probably your whole life from a young age as a young girl giving and giving and giving and essentially hustling for your self-worth it's a really hard pill to swallow that you may have done that from this perspective that that's going to allow you to be more worthy of success or be more worthy of receiving love in return receiving you know resources in return if I'm sacrificing everything in my job then my boss will will see that and reward me for that if I'm sacrificing everything for my partner then they'll love me more or if I if I sacrifice everything for my kids or for a parent I will receive more love from them because I will be giving everything to them and it's a really it's a real journey to unpick that identity and allow yourself to become a woman who receives in return who receives support or who fills her cup first before giving to others and so if this resonates with you i would love you to let me know either in a comment in a private message i would love to support you with this if you're on this journey because this is a huge part of my work and I am here for the women who are ready to receive who are ready to receive support who are ready to say it's my turn now 
it's my turn to put myself first, it's my turn to invest in myself or it's my turn to ask ask for help here and not be this go-to person for everyone. I want to be I want to be someone who can also reach out and ask for help or who can also receive from those around me. So if that is a journey you're on and something you're really actively working on, please, please, please let me know and stay tuned as well because I have something really exciting coming that is going to be supporting you in reaching and manifesting that next level of your success without sacrificing, without overworking, without being on that hamster wheel because you get to you get to be the ambitious woman you are moving forward in your career, growing your business, landing that promotion or pay rise, get into that next level of your success and you get to do that thriving. You get to be thriving in your relationship, in your health, in the relationships you have with your loved ones, in your relationship with yourself, with your body, with your mind, your mental well-being. You get to have that. There is no need to be sacrificing and doing it all and not receiving anything in return. And in fact, as we've discussed, that might actually be the thing that is blocking you from reaching the next level, thinking you have to do it alone and you have to do it all by yourself. So some food for thought for you today, a quick one from me. And like I said, reach out if this is you and if you resonate with this and stay tuned for something very exciting that is coming in May. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching, ladies. And I will speak to you soon.